Bruto trying to build his own empire. For example, I'll give you another example. There's a time that the government issued, because I've, I've also done some milling in El Damaravin, there's a time the government issued a directive to log trees. Do you know what informed that decision? You find that the, 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 the son of the president is in the business of, of, of furniture. He's one of the biggest beneficiaries of logging of trees. I have intels in Uganda. They export a lot of logs from Uganda. They pass it through the border. There's a big furniture farm. If you do these things, you'll realize everything that this government does, everything that this president does is for his own benefit. And the people around him, if you if you have been in Wasingishi, for example, there are few people, majority of them are suffering, but there are few people who are buying squeezes in Wasingishi. There are a lot of funny cars, Porsches, you know, Maserati. And at the same time, in the same Wasingishi, if you go to a place like Uruma, if you go to a place like Langas, if you go to a place like Mailine, Kapsaos, where, where I was raised, there are no people. So even the people from their own strongholds they are the real suffering they're suffering more than than the, even some of us so me and Asema, we should continue with this thing uh, this is a tyrant government this is a kleptocratic government these people are evil and another thing it was said by americans and some of you i have not gone to church for a very long time but i think we need to invade the churches as much as we can we need to be more vocal in what we do and again at the same time fuck these people uh they can come for us they can come do whatever they want but the message should be strong Please remember, it's not even about the finance bill. It's not even about corruption. It's about one man who is the problem. I've always said I've, I was, I've always voted in Eldoret North, Tarbo constituency. I've, Root has always been my MP since I was young. And this guy, I can tell you for sure, is on a mission to create a Kenyatta dynasty. We'll be talking about Ruto dynasty. He's invading every sector of the economy. He's invading every part of our household. In the next five years, if you don't stop this madness, this guy will be everywhere.